camera features camera features divided into three sides one front side two back side and three top side camera features on the front of the camera body in this tutorial we will help you get the most from your DSLR by explaining some of the key camera features found on almost every camera body camera features on the front of the camera body number one red eye reduction number two focusing ring number three zoom ring number four flash button number five focus mood switch number six image stabilizer switch number seven built-in microphone eight depth of field preview button now in full description number one red eye reduction to stop the flash bouncing of the subjects retains and causing glowing red eyes this lamp will emit a burst of light to make the subjects pupil shrink before the flash is triggered the lamp also acts as a handy self timer countdown indicator number two focusing ring in autofocus mode this ring rotates until the camera has focused on the subject in manual focus mode you can rotate the focus ring with your hand to focus on a specific subject number three zoom ring rotate this ring clockwise to zoom out for a wide angle view rotate it anti-clockwise that means counterclockwise to zoom in for a close-up on your subject number four flash button when shooting using the creative zone or manual modes you can tell the built-in flash to pop up by pressing here number five focus mode switch leave this set on af auto focus if you want the camera to control the focusing flip the switch to manual focus or mf when you want to control the focus yourself number six image stabilizer switch the lenses eis or image stabilizer is designed to stop blur caused by camera shake which is especially noticeable when you are zoomed in on a distant subject number seven built-in microphone most cameras such as the canon 500d can now record video sound to go with it is recorded show a microphone like this though it will also record camera handling noises like the zoom ring being rotated number eight depth of field preview button by pressing here you can get the camera to stop down to the lenses current aperture setting you can then preview how much of the shot will be in focus by looking through the viewfinder or by checking the live view display
camera features on the back of the camera body. Number 1. Aperture or Exposure Compensation Pattern Number 2. Auto Focus Point Selection Number 3. AE Lock Button Number 4. Live View Number 5. Cross Keys Number 6. Self Timer Number 7. Playback button, number 8, erase button, and number 9, menu button. Now in details. Number 1, aperture or exposure compensation button. On manual mode, holds this button down and turn the main dial to open or close the aperture. Number 2. Autofocus point selection. Press this button then rotate the main dial to select which autofocus point the camera will use. Number 3. AE lock button. You can use it to zoom out of a shot when viewing it on the LCD in playback mode. It also lets you focus the camera when using live view. Number 4. Live view. Press here to display how the camera will capture on the LCD screen. Most new cameras have a live LCD function which saves you from having to look through the viewfinder. Number 5. Cross Keys These cross key buttons allow you to navigate through the camera's menus and submenus. You can then press the set button to choose a specific menu setting. Number 6. Self Timer This cross key button lets you change the camera from single shooting to continuous shooting mode or change the self timer settings. Number 7. Playback button. The playback button enables you to review the shots that you have captured on the camera's memory card. Number 8. Erase button. The universal trash can symbol lets you delete the file you are currently viewing on the camera's LCD screen. Number 9. Menu button. Click here to access a vast array of menus and submenus so that you can alter the way it behaves to suit your requirements. This button lets you access and change the quality settings for example. Camera features on the top of the camera body. Number 1. Built-in flash. Number 2. Shutter button. Number 3. Main dial. Number 4. ISO button. Number 5. On or off switch. Number 6. Mode dial. Number 7. Flash hot show mount. Now in details. Number 1. Built-in flash. When there is not enough available light to capture a decent exposure, your DSLR's built-in flash can pop up to shine some light on the situation. In some modes, you may need to pop it up manually. Number 2. Shutter button. Press this button all the way down to capture a shot. Press it halfway down to focus and take an exposure reading of the skin's lighting. Number 3. Main Dial Rotating this dial enables you to manually set the camera's aperture or shutter speed. It's called the common dial on a Nikon. Number 4. ISO Button 
Click here to choose an IOC speed for the camera to use. You can then use the main dial to select a faster IOC speed to make the camera more sensitive to low light. Number 5. On or off switch. Turn the camera off when not in use, though it will automatically fall asleep to save power after 30 seconds. Number 6. Mode Dial Rotate this dial to choose a shooting mode. The camera will then set the appropriate aperture and shutter speed setting, as well as processing color in different OS depending on the mode. Number 7. Flash Hot Show Mount All DSLRs enable you to mount a more powerful flash gun on top of the camera so that you can illuminate distant subjects and perform more creative and effective flash related shots. And that's all. Thank you for watching.